Hey everyone, do you love using Midjourney's character and style reference features, but hate constantly hunting for, copying and pasting your reference image URLs? Then let me introduce you to what I think is the best Midjourney shortcut. Custom options. Custom options are shortcuts that you can define and assign specific elements to like parameters, prompt text, and image URLs. Instead of typing out lengthy prompts or searching for reference images, you can store them as custom options and summon them with just a few keystrokes. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's talk about this time-saving shortcut. Setting up a custom option is easy with Midjourney's Prefer Option Set command. First, you need to decide what you wanna save as a custom option. I'm going to use this reference image of a character that I've named Wesley. Okay, here's how it works. Type forward slash prefer option set, followed by a space, then we'll give it a name. Press the tab key and click on value. Then I'll paste in the image URL and press enter. And now we have a custom option named Wesley that contains the URL for his character reference image. You can save anything to a custom option, multiple image URLs of the same character, style reference image URLs. If you've been playing around with the new SREF random, I'll link a video to that. You can save those random style codes. Or if you have a specific set of parameters or prompt text that you use constantly, save it to a custom option and save yourself some time. So we've created a custom option named Wesley, but how do we use that in a prompt? To use a custom option in your prompt, just type two dashes followed by the name of the option that you wanna use. In this case, the custom option that I set up contains an image URL, so it can be placed anywhere an image URL is accepted in a mid-journey prompt. So to use Wesley as a character reference, I just include two dashes and the option name after the character reference parameter. Make sure there's a space here. When I submit the job, Midjourney automatically replaces that shortcut with the image URL. One of the greatest advantages of custom options is the ability to combine multiple options into a single prompt. I can create images of Wesley with a specific style reference that I've saved as a custom option and or with a specific set of parameter values. When I submit the job, Midjourney knows to replace these shortcuts with the image URLs or other values that I've saved to those options. We can even use multiple custom options together within the same parameter. For example, I have two different style references that I wanna use and each is saved to its own custom option. To use them together in a prompt, I just add both option names separated by a space after the style reference parameter. We can also set relative weights by putting two colons and a number after the option name. For example, here I've told Midjourney to give this first style reference three times more weight than the other style reference or if I flip it around, you can see the effect that that has on the results. So custom options are only available to use on Discord at the moment, and they are specific to your account. To see all of the custom options that you've saved, just type slash prefer option list. And if you need to delete one, type slash prefer option set, the name of the custom option that you wanna delete, and press enter. And then you can go back and look at prefer option list again, just to confirm that it's been deleted. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know down in the comments how you are using custom options. And if you're looking for prompt inspiration or other mid-journey tutorials, please be sure to like, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos and free guides. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.